The Cube presents KubeCon and Cloud Native Con Europe 2022. Brought to you by Red Hat, the Cloud Native Computing Foundation, and its ecosystem partners. Welcome to Valencia, Spain, and KubeCon and Cloud Native Con Europe 2022. I'm your host, Keith Townsend, and we're getting to the end of the day, but the energy level has not subsided on the show floor. Still plenty of activity, plenty of folks talking. I have, as a second time guest, this KubeCon, which mm. is unusual, but not, I don't think, uh, disappointing in any way. We're, we're going to have plenty of content for you on your, the CPO, Orrin Garrett, you're the CPO of, of Deep Defense. Uh, at, at Defense. Yeah. We're going to shift the conversation a little bit. Okay. Let's talk about open source availability, open source security availability for everybody. I, I drive a, a pretty nice SUV back home, okay. and it has all these cool safety features that warns me when I'm dozing off, it yep. lets me know when I'm steering into another lane, mm -hmm. and I'm thinking, why isn't it just a standard thing on every vehicle? Isn't safety important? Think about that for open source security. Why isn't open source security like just this thing available to every project yeah, and product? Keith, I love that analogy, and thanks for having me back. We had a lot of fun yesterday. Yeah, we did. Yeah, you know, we at Deep Fence, we really believe security is something that everybody should benefit from. Because if applications aren't secure, if vulnerabilities find their way into production, then you know, your mother, my aunt, you know, uncle using the internet, use an app, their identity is stolen through no fault of their own because the developer of that application didn't have access to the tools that he or she needed to secure the application. Security is built around public knowledge. When there are vulnerabilities, they're shared with the community. And we firmly believe that we should provide open source accessible tools that takes that public knowledge and makes it easy for anybody to benefit from it. So at DeepFence, we've created a software platform. It's 100% open source, called Threat Mapper. And the job of this platform is to scan your applications as they're running and find, identify, are there security vulnerabilities that have found their way into production. So we'll look for these vulnerabilities, we'll use the wisdom of the community to inform that, and we'll help you find the vulnerabilities and identify which ones you've got to fix first. So when you say use the wisdom of the community, usually you know, one of the, the, the hard things to crack is the definitions, what we call virus definitions yes. in the past. How do we uh, uh, identify the latest threats? And that's usually something that's locked behind value. Yep. How do you right. view that when it comes to You're open You're right, and it's worrying because some organizations will take that and they'll hide that extra value and they'd only make it available to paying customers. And ethically, I think that's really wrong. That value is out there. It's just about getting it into hands of, of users, of developers. And what we will do is we'll take public feeds like the CVEs from the NVD, National Vulnerability Database. We'll take feeds from operating system vendors for language packs. And then we help organizations understand the context so they can unlock the value. The problem with security scanning is you find hundreds of thousands of, of false positives. Like in your SUV, there, as you drive down the street, there are hundreds of things that you could hit, right. but you don't hit any of them. They're false positives, you don't need to worry about them. It's the one that walks across the road that you've got to avoid, you need to know about. We do the same with security vulnerabilities. We help you understand of these thousands of issues that might be present in your applications, which are the ones that are really important, because developers, they're short of time. They can't fix everything. So we help them focus on the things that are going to give the biggest bang for their time. Not for the buck, because we're not charging them for it, but for their time. So when they invest time in improving the security of the applications, we, with our open source accessible projects, will help guide them to invest that as best as possible. So I'm a small de developer. Yeah. I lead a small project, just a couple of developers. I don't yeah. have a dedicated security person. Yeah. What's my experience in adopting this open source solution? Am I biting off more than I can chew and creating too much overhead? We try and make it as easy as possible to consume. 
So you're a developer, you're building applications, you're, you're here at KubeCon, so you're probably deploying them onto Kubernetes, and you've probably used tools already to check them and make sure that there aren't vulnerabilities, but nevertheless, you've got to let some of those vulnerable packages into production, and there could be issues that were disclosed after you scanned. So with our tool, you place a little agent in your Kubernetes cluster, it's a daemon set, it's a one helm command to push it out, and that talks back to the console that you own, so everything stays with you, nothing comes to us, we respect your privacy. And you can use that to then scan and inventory your applications anytime you want and say, is this application still secure or are there new vulnerabilities disclosed recently that I didn't know about? And we make the user experience as easy as we can. We've had some fantastic chats on the demo booth here at KubeCon. And hey, if times were different, I'd love to have you across the booth and we'll click and see. The user experience is as quick and as sweet and as enjoyable as we can make it. All right, so on, we've had a, a nice casual chat up to yeah. this point. But we're going to flip the switch a little bit. I'm going to change personalities. Like, you All know, right. it's, it's almost like if you're a comic book fan, the Incredible Hulk, Keith, the mild-mannered guy with a buttoned-up shirt. Matter of fact, I'm going to unbutton my okay. jacket. And we're going to get a little less formal. And a, a little less formal, but a little bit more serious. And we're going to, in a second, start cube plot, and you're going to give me the spill. You're going to go from open source to commercial, and you're going to try and convince me. Okay. In 60 seconds or less, you can at the you can All leave right. five we'll seconds on the table and say okay. you're done. Okay. That why why you should do where's the challenge? Li 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 listen yeah. to why you should listen to deep fence. Why should you listen to Alpha deep fence? So I'm going to put the shot clock in my ear. So. Again, people never start on time. You need to use your whole 60 seconds. Start, cue clock. Keith, you build and deploy applications on Kubernetes or in the cloud. Your developers have ticked it off and signed zero it off, from zero, saying it's zero. saying they're secure, but do you know if they're still secure when they're running in production? With Deep Fence Threat Mapper, it's an open source tool. You can scan them. You, you can like find you the issues in those applications running in your production environment and prioritize them so you know what to fix first. But, Keith, you can't always fix them straight away. So, deploy story. Threat Striker, our enterprise platform, to then monitor those applications, see what's happening in real time. Is someone attacking them? Are they gaining control? And success if we without, see the exploits happening, we will step nothing. in, you tell have, you what's going on, passion. and we can put the thumb on the attacker. We can stop them reaching the application by firewalling just them. We can freeze the application so it restarts so you can go and investigate later. Five seconds. Be safe, shift left, but also secure on the right-hand side. That's it. I think you hit it out the park. Great job on. Cheers, Keith. Cheers. You, 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 you did well on the pressure. The Cube, we bring the value. We're separating the signal from the noise. 60 seconds, that's a great explanation. From Valencia, Spain, I'm Keith Townsend, and you're watching The Cube, the leader in high-tech coverage.